Okay, so uh, this is my version of the uh, Trent Bosch video turning uh, hollowing system. Basically uses a uh, cheap little, I guess, $20, $25 uh, web camera from Amazon and my laptop. The hollowing system is uh, one I bought years ago from Lee Valley. I don't even know who makes them, but uh, one Lee Valley had. This system will work on uh, virtually any hollowing system. As long as you've got a place you can mount the, uh, the camera, you're good to go. This originally came with a, uh, a holder for a, uh, a laser, which works fine, but I find that uh, the camera much superior because you can see the whole, the whole shape of the tool. And uh, we'll get into that here right away. The first thing I gotta do is put a mark on the uh, outline of the, the cutting head. And then uh, I don't want to mark on my computer screen, so we'll solve that. We'll just put a little piece of saran wrap on it. My, uh, my uh, handy dandy assistants do. Gonna give me a hand here. Do you want to move out of the way? There you go. Okay, I'm going to just take that wrinkle out of there. Try to. There. Oops. Still got it. Still got a wrinkle. Oh. Oh. This one stay there okay? Yep. Yeah, there it doesn't. Go. You know, a lot of guys use uh, a sheet of mylar, but uh, I'm cheap, so uh, I, I use uh, saran wrap. So, Depending on uh, what uh, diameter you want. So I'm just going to do the whole outline the whole holder here. And I'll use the outside edge of the, uh, the Sharpie here. And uh, I may have got this a little bit too close, but for demonstration purposes, this would be just fine. So now you can see that I've outlined the whole cutting head and the holder as well. So what will happen once I put this inside, the tool will disappear, but that black mark will stay there. And as you can see, that mark follows the cutter no matter where I move it. Okay, so now when it goes inside, magic. So that's where your cutter is. So, whoop! I guess I better turn my lathe on. So we get this out here. Spin it. And as you can see, all I have to do is uh, watch the screen. So, so as you can see, the, uh, the outline follows the whole cutter uh, and also here the, uh, the tool holder as well. So you can see if you're going to rub that on, uh, you know, yeah. you know where everything is. So then when you put it in, and it doesn't matter whether you're in here cutting on the side, like using this part of it, on, on this side, or if you go into the bottom and use, use the very tip of it, you always know where your cutter is, right? Working on the bottom here. So let's, let's fire it up and uh, still wants to see some chips. Okay, so now I'm on the bottom. So as you can 
see I'm coming straight in and uh, I'm using the very end of the it in a nutshell. And there's our cutter again. Yep. And That's depending awesome. on depending on the wall thickness you want, uh, is where, where you, you put where you put the black line. Yep. Like I say, uh, I'll be use uh, I would use the outside edge of the sharpie, not the inside. So when the outside edge, you know, I'll do it on the top here so you can see. So when the outside edge, you can see there, when it's on the edge. That'll give That's me that, that, that much of a wall thickness. And uh, here, that. we'll do this so you can see how, how that cutter would follow on the inside, right? And you can see it uses, you know, probably better than a third of the cutter. With a laser, you'd have to keep changing, changing your laser yeah. to whichever part of the cutter you were planning on using. That's excellent, Mike. Fantastic. And cheap. You yeah. got a laptop, 20 bucks, and uh, you're good to go.